I'll be answering this question using the Aramaic to English direct translation from Aramaic to English Peshitta text provided uh, by Dr. George M. Lamsa. Here in Jeremiah 4.10, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem, saying, when in actuality, then I said, I beseech thee, O Lord God, surely I have greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem. Hey everybody, the Peshitta is a translation of the Bible into Syriac. The translation of the Hebrew Bible likely took place uh, between the 1st and the 2nd century CE. There is evidence of the influence of Jewish interpretive tradition on the translation, but the New Testament, once it was completed, was also translated into Syriac, and both of these translations survive within Eastern Christian traditions. And there are a handful of different versions that were translated around this time period. The Septuagint, comes from just before this time period. The Targumim come from this time period. Uh, the different Latin translations, uh, including the Vulgate, come from just after this time period. Now, historically speaking, the Peshitta has immense value and is a fascinating uh, object of study. Text critically speaking, it does not make as many contributions as some of our other editions. Uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, the Septuagint are probably among the two most influential. So when we see a variation from the Masoretic text or the Dead Sea Scrolls or the Septuagint uh, in the Peshitta, it is going to be rare that it preserves an earlier reading. And that's certainly the case with Jeremiah 4.10. This is not preserving an original reading. This is an alteration that was likely made in translation. Uh, the Masoretic text, the Septuagint, the Latin, they all uh, agree that this is a second person verb. Uh, the first person reading is something that is secondary. And so this is actually an alteration, a renegotiation with the text that occurred either in a variant source text that was used in the translation of the Peshitta or something that was uh, inserted by the translator of the Peshitta. Did the King James translation of the Bible just call God a liar? So it's not just the King James Version saying this, it is preceding English translations, it is preceding other translations, it's the Vulgate, it's the Septuagint, it's the Masoretic text, it's what the text says. Uh, Jeremiah is rhetorically accusing God of allowing the people to be deceived through God's prophets who promise peace and security. Uh, but this isn't the only place where this happens. In fact, we have an elaborate story in 1 Kings 22 where Micaiah sees in vision, or at least tells the king, that he saw in vision God and their divine counsel, and God asking for volunteers to go lead Ahab to his death in battle. And one of the spirits speaks up and says, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets, and they will deceive Ahab to his death. And God likes the idea, and God authorizes it. And that's exactly what happens. The king goes up to Ramot Gilead to go to battle and dies because he was deceived by the prophets who were led by one of God's own spirits, one of God's own agents. And the text even suggests it is the very spirit of Adonai, spirit of God, who was the lying spirit in the mouth of the prophets. So God lying is a part of the Bible.